Welcome guys, welcome, welcome. So in this video, I want to talk about another content algorithm, which I think is very uh, interesting. And this is called the Burston Vatarani problem. So uh, this is the, the like the variant of the Dutch Georgia, uh, Georgia algorithm. But uh, so Georgia algorithm is interesting because somehow like it provides, so for some classical pattern, problem that quantum algorithm can provide the exponential speed up. Okay, so in this problem, it's also very interesting that it seems like it can provide uh, exponential speed up. So the problem is that, uh, let's say the problem, let's talk about problem. So the problem is that given the oracle that the implement function that nb strings to 0, 1, uh, which f is promised to be a dot product between s and secret string s. So the idea is that you have nb string, let's say x1 to xn, and then you have a secret string called s1 to sn. Okay, it's hard to pronounce. And the f of x is defined to be if you dot with, uh, if you do the inner product and, mod f and after that you mod 2, right? So mod, mod 2 only gives you 0 and 1. Okay, so s is s1 or sn. So given our oracle, right? So the idea is that we need to find s. We need to find s. Okay, so this is the same, same thing. Okay, so let's talk about like classically, right? How to do it classically. So let me just maybe write in somewhere. Okay, so classically, then what should we get s, right? I can put f, it's 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, then I will get x1 dot 1, right? So I get, so I, I get x1 is 1, 1 dot s1, so I get s1, right? The rest are 0, I get f0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, we get s2, f0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, we get s3, and f0, 0, 0, 0, 0, up to 1, we get sn, right? So we get, uh, so we, we get s1, s2, Sn, right, as a bit string. Okay, so this is a very uh, easy method, and uh, you can prove that this is the optimal one because you at least have S1, S2 up to Sn, right, so you cannot, you cannot ignore any of them, right, so it takes n steps. Takes n steps. So, uh, so n is the optimal solution. Okay. But uh, how, how about we see a quantum algorithm? Okay, so let's see the diagram. So the quantum algorithm starting from the, all the trivial zero zero states and then echo all it by Hadamard. Okay, so I already write down answer. For the original one, we are state zero 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 zero. And after the Hadamard, we get the one over square root of n and all the superposition from zero to two to the minus one. And I think everybody knows about this, right? Because Hadamard zero will g g give you at least so if you product uh, n of length, you just get all the combination from 0 to 2 to the minus 1. And this is uf. And I uh, we define the uf x to be minus f of x x. So you will detect f. Okay. So after this uf, our state will become uh, this guy, right? So just write down all of this. So this is the red one. Uh, let's say a green one. So so this is the inventions that we apply all the hard math. Right, so this is the same as the Dutch Rosa algorithm, which is exactly two Hadma, uh, two Hadma and the uh, sandwich uh, special oracle. Okay, so so remember there is a lemma that we proved somewhere that h n of x right will be one over square root of two n y to from z, y is equal to zero to the minus one minus one uh, x dot y. So this dot product is the same as original bit string dot product and ma2. So our final file will be this guy, right? We per, we just product these, these two. And then we get this one. Right, and then we get this one. And then we get this one. Okay, so then uh, from the diagram, we know that all, all the final is major y, or major y. Okay. So major y will get this guy, right? So what is this? So at, Answer, what is this? What is this guy? S plus dot plus y y right. So re so remember re so remember this is s dot y s plus y means that uh, s uh, this y right. So this is the bit this is a bit string operations. Basically, if you get zero zero, it gives you zero. If you one one, it gives you zero. Right, because this is uh, the the bit string at so you get zero one it gives you sorry uh, zero zero uh 
five zero zero, you get uh, you get zero one one, you get and the zero one you get one, one zero you get one, right? Because you add at least two, and the mod two. So you say, so you think you you find that uh, one condition is that uh, this is s and y. So you can see that x bit string or is zero if and only if I I I should, how how should I call this? So basically, the uh, you, you just you just try if so this is the the result right zero 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 one one zero zero one 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 zero one so you just add it in the, in the mod two so this is the addition in the mod two okay so s uh plus y equals zero if and only if s equals to y right if you see if zero x something become zero that that guy must be zero for one one add something is if zero unless this guy is one right so uh, so this term is non-zero for part, so particular for any there's only one chance that x must equals y. Okay, so f so x field you measure this y, the only survive case for each bit string is y equals to s. Right, so finally this guy will be s. So after you measure y, then you get s1, s2 up to sn. So this is the secret key S. Okay, so this is the somehow like the provide the exponential speed up. Because the idea is that no matter how many uh, how many S is not important, right? You can still create the uh, uh, these quantum algorithms to prove there's a uh, this is the correct one. Okay, so S plus Y is yeah. So the idea is that uh, this uh, this identity, right? Because if you see the table, you 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 find this you find this trick. So actually, right. So if if x x not y is is not one, right? Then when then you can okay. So let's maybe provide more details. So this guy can be written as x one zero one x two zero one up to x n zero one, and then this is minus x one dot. Oh, sorry, I should say. I should write s1, s1, y plus y1, minus 1, x2, x2 plus y2. Right, so this is our our results. So you see, if if any of this, if any of this is non-zero, then for such x1, then it will produce a minus 1 and 1. So then, then it will cancel. So in order to, for this turn, is non-zero. The only choice is that oh, every y i is the same as s i, right? Every y i is the same as i, so that all of these can produce one, right? And all these all these two to the n sum will collapse into the single sum, and then that single sum is s one from s n. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay. So, so this algorithm is very interesting, and uh, it also provides the fact that if you are interested in the complexity theory, so the quantum computing can solve in the quantum problem, which you can use the quantum computing to solve in the polynomial time with some higher probability is called the BQP, and the original uh, original uh, complexity theory in the uh, state the classical computer for the some if you can use the probability is called the BVP, right? So that means if you add the Oracle UF. If you add Oracle UF, then uh, you then you can you can separate them. So that means they are not the same, right? Because even though you so this so this problem can can only solve if you use a BPP with some Oracle, then can you then you can only solve in the uh, n time, right? But in 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 the, but this guy can solve in exponential time. It can exponential time faster than BVP up to this if, if you add this oracle so this provide a hint that uh, this provide a hint that why people think BQP so that's why people think BQP is different it's different from uh, BPP so this is stand for bounds uh, bounds probability uh, bounds uh, So this is bound quantum polynomial time. This is bound probability polynomial time. Yeah. Okay. So if you add this, so this 
a burst and route or running problem say that if you add the if you add this oracle uf then bqp and bpp can separate so they are different okay so this is the interesting problem i think in the in the quantum computing world so i will see you guys in the next video be sure to subscribe to my channel thanks